Thanks. Now dance. <laughs> it's adventure time. I'm so happy. To whoever keeps taking my apron and replacing it with theirs, at least you smell good. <laughs> when your friends call you out on your bad spelling, you guys know I meant cologne, not colon. <laughs> But back to the apron situation, someone keeps replacing my apron with their apron. And I have my suspects, really just one suspect. But they smell nice, so there's that. Here it is, I'm packing up all my stuff. Moving out tomorrow. I don't have it as bad as my roommate though. She has to pack up the entire place and go to Colorado. Yep, this is all hers. Poor thing. So for some of my new followers who don't know, I arrived here in Tulsa with nowhere to live. I crashed in Karina's dorm room um, the first night and the next day I went to the Oral Roberts University office and just pretty much begged for help. Ultimately, they couldn't help me. However, one of the girls that worked in the offices just so happened to have an available room, which she offered to me, complete with king-size bed and my own bathroom. Seriously, she's been a huge blessing. She's spirit-filled, Christ follower. I mean, just absolute blessing uh, to be able to live here. God. My roommate and I have gotten pretty close, actually, so I'm kind of bummed that she's leaving, but also really excited for her because she's graduating with her MBA. Um, me, on the other hand, I will be here for the summer, and I found a room in a house with some roommates who I met last week. They seem really cool, the landlord seems pretty cool, and I'll be moving out tomorrow. Hence the packing. So coming to Tulsa, it was just one of those you-need-to-leave moments where God just so clearly, not only in my own spirit, but through my leaders, just confirmed that I need to get out of California, hence why I came to Tulsa. And so I got here, I had no job, I had no car, I had nowhere to live, I wasn't even registered for classes, but immediately within the first few weeks, God fulfilled all of those things, and he's continuing to fulfill and multiply and increase on everything that I've been doing here. It's been so fantastic, and just confirming every single day that I'm in the right place and that I really did hear from God in coming here. I keep my hands on myself. Decided to take a break. Thought I'd eat an orange. Tried to open that orange, and somehow the peel got shoved up into my nail. I'm bleeding, and it hurts. We don't need bamboo torture anymore. We just need orange peel torture. That'll get the people talking. 